Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 5 Criminal Part Number 14. We got another season in the truck series, and I'm a little, a little discouraged just by how that end of the season kind of played out. Hopefully, this season we can do very well. We are very close to getting our, uh, to getting a uh, hundred for the arrow, and then that's it. Then after that, then we'll uh, put our money towards uh, getting uh, another short track chassis, and then that will be it for the future so other than that um i don't know how the season will go just because we have to you know the hot seats not a hot seats but we kind of made ourselves be an xfinity driver against our will but obviously we're just going to sim that because i wanted to see what the hell kind of ratings i had now the reason why i freaking did that and i wanted to look at it was because for future plans I thought that, you know, I can, you know, look at different things to see, like, whatever, but I can't. It's, it's only in trucks. I don't know why it doesn't look at both. I don't, I don't know, whatever. We'll get in Daytona here, and hopefully it's uh, better than what we did last time here at this track one year ago. Also, this isn't fixed. I thought maybe if I backed out of career and back then, it would have fixed it, but no. That's sad. It's like that for the other drivers, too. Like, it just doesn't have anything. It has it just the total, but... I don't know why shit's so hard with this company. I don't know. Just, whatever. Just, just, get, in, just, just get into the race, because qualifying's not going to matter. Well, here we go. Let's see how this all plays out. So, 13 laps. We should have a pretty much a standard one pit stop sort of race. Now, with everything 195 and 100, this should be pretty competitive. At least I freaking hope so. And, yeah, well, just kind of see how this goes. I'm just kind of curious just to see, like, just how the season goes. Because if, if we're just going to do the season and still just not win Phoenix, then I'll just do, a, I'll just sim, the, not the sim, I'll just do the, the truck season stuff off camera. And then I'll record uh, Phoenix with the full-blown custom stuff. Because if that's what the game wants me to do or that's what I have to do to win the championship, then I'll just do it then. Same with the Xfinity and uh, Cup if it comes to that. Also, that was probably a very weak move, but it's whatever. Well, the good thing is we have not lost a draft, so this is already better than last season's race. Even if we finish 30, 30th, it's better than what we did last year. Now we just kind of, kind of, got to finagle our way through this field, and we'll pit. I'll probably just take rights, and that's it. Also, also um, another pit crew maxed out at 100. Therefore, we're going to be even more just stupidly OP on the pit stop, so that should help us out, especially tracks like this, so hooray. And we are almost going to crack ourselves in the top 10, and we are actually four wide. Well, this is not going to end well. It's, uh, no, it's not. Uh, oh my god, Jennifer Joe Cobb just doesn't give a damn. Okay, things have gotten situated. We, we're not four wide anymore. Chastain's trying to be a, a bro partner thing, and... It's not really working. There we go. Thankfully, Ben Rhodes kind of stopped, slowed down Chastain a little bit. And we'll get to the inside, and this will put us up into 14th, likely. Now we just got to catch the leader. Which, again, they're right in front of us. It shouldn't be too bad to get to them. But obviously, pit stops are going to make this very interesting, so... Really, this is all just waiting until see like what the pit stop does and how that all shakes everything out. Because we saw how Talladega played that out. It was very weird, so... We just kind of had to put ourselves in position, essentially, as we're actually going to get by our under Spencer Boyd. No, nope, no, we're not, but we're very close to the top ten. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> I don't know who the hell made that evasive move. I think it was Todd Gillen, but kind of messed up uh, Boyd's run. It actually it actually helped because it, I didn't really gain anything from that. The good thing is we're in the top ten. I think Strick Friesen's leading. We're almost halfway through our fuel run. We have 99 arrow damage, probably the 1% was from Jennifer Jo Cobb just destroying my ass, so. I didn't know she rode like that, but that that's hot, so good good for her, I guess. She's learning what she really values, or what she really wants in her life, so good, good for her. Now we just gotta try to slowly but surely move our way up to the field. The truck's fast, I mean, it's just, it's just gross. So, oh my god. Jeez, Spencer, you don't have to make that kind of move, I didn't... Uh, the, that's that's a that's an overreaction for sure. Yeah, we'll get by Crafton as well as Moffitt because they're stuck on the outside to the inside of Endfinger because we got a juicy good old run. Now we got Tate Taint 
googly eye man up here in front of me. I don't know if they spell his name right in the game. I'm unsure, but really don't know. I've, I've heard about it, but I don't know if they, they fixed that. Anyways, we're going for a lead. Three wide, <laughs> and we're on the bottom, so that's going to work out. And, oh, thank you, Endfinger. Thank you, I appreciate that. Am I going to pass Friesen, or... We got to. I mean, we're, we're literally two car tangoing. We can't get by one truck. That's sad. <laughs> Come on, Endfinger, please. I, this, this is just embarrassing now. Okay, thank you. For a moment there, that was looking really bad. I'm hitting this lap. We were uh, losing a fuel fuel per lap, like right at the line. So if I stay out another lap, I'm gonna be hitting zero as I cross the line. And I really don't want to take the chance to sputter. I just flip my camera on a different thing by mistake. Nobody else is pitting. That's a problem. I'm gonna get screwed just like in the the, the, the day race. So that's fair. That's fucking fair. I just I, they're just doing things I just can't physically fucking do. We're not going to take tires, we're just going to take fuel. Actually, screw it, just go right. I don't think that's going to change anything, but... Yeah, we just lost the race because of that, so... That's fucking wonderful. I don't even have words. I mean, I'm just... That's just... Like, what what can I have possibly done? I would have ran myself out of fuel and been the only one to run on myself out of fuel, and that would have been just absolute horseshit, so... I got nothing. Man, we just got some trucks leaving Piro now. That just... That hurt me. I, I just I can't physically just do that like it's just it's it's just bullshit I, what am I supposed to do really like oh god I'm just tired of getting kicked in the nuts from this game I'm sorry this is just stupid I don't, like I don't even have any words it's just it's just dumb like I'm like even Jennifer Joe Cobb just chilling on the racetrack well that's that's fucking lovely and the field stopping because nobody knows how to do the blend rule Five games! Nobody knows how to do the blend rule. That's, I don't know why that's not a thing. I just almost ran myself in the ring. And yeah, I just... I don't even... Like, even if I didn't take tires, that might have been three seconds saved on the pit stop. Possibly. Even still, that's not... Like, that wouldn't be good enough to be back to where I was. I just was just doomed to just not win this race. I just... I truly was not... Just... I was doomed. Now I'm gonna get. I, I just. I just. Just such ass and I. Just crap. Yeah. I just. I just don't have any words. It's just. It's so fucking discouraging when I, they're able to do things that I just like. I couldn't physically fucking do. Like stay out an extra lap like that. I'll take 14th. That's better than the first season's race here, but. There's just. I, it's been a while since I felt like not wanting to play a fucking game, and it's, um, th this is one of them right now. I just, I, like, I just such, oh, it's so bullshit. Like, it's just, like, it just reeks of just imbalancedness. Just, oh, God, it's just, I don't even want to play this right now. Just, so, it's such, it's just, oh, great, I got moderate savings because <laughs> I got my ass just destroyed. Whatever, it's... Let's just get into Vegas. Just get this over with. I, I don't care, game. Just... 25th, not bad. But yeah, we got enough money to not only uh, upgrade our truck or get yeah, to the max, we can even uh, put more money towards getting a, a chassis, so... There's that, at least. Three wins? I mean, we can maybe go for that. Really? We're not going to have stats for just, just for Season 2, even though we're not in Season 2 anymore. We're in Season 3. Like, what, what is going on? I can't... Just, it's like asking someone to walk and they just fucking explode and collapse and throw up on the floor. Ugh, whatever, we'll do that. And how much for that? 280, we're almost there. And then, yeah, on, on to Vegas. I'm just I'm so... Oh, I'm just so... I'm so salty. I don't know how I did it, but we're going into Vegas with 94 arrow instead of a uh, 95. I I think that, that may be fixed when we go to Atlanta, but I I don't know. We'll just get into the race and hope that's all I can do. I'll turn four. Our goal time is uh, 31.0, just because that's the pole lap, and we're going to be almost a second off. 13th. Well, they should have a good race trim truck, anyways. It's going to be the same as usual with the, you know, one pit stop. Obviously, with our pit crew maxed out, that should make our stops even better. So, therefore, we can maybe, 
maybe win more races that way, I think. So I usually don't do that just because like the, the, the picker shouldn't be just perfect. It should have that's why I always think ninety five is like a perfect little like uh thing just for whatever. I don't know, but yeah. I guess we'll see what we can do. I'm just very Man, I like the levels of just just not caring feeling is pretty fucking high. I I have not felt this in a long fucking time. Uh, maybe not since Heat Three, which you know it's been like two years now or something. Just oh god, this game just bugs me. Especially on like shit like that. Like I shouldn't have to run like 25% races just to get like the perfect racing experience. And even then, it still never really worked out because I always would lose, or the pick, there would always be wonky pick calls or stuff. So it's just like there's, in order in order to just get a, a race where just no no pit strategy issues occur, you just don't you should just, in order to have that resolved, they just shouldn't have to pit. I guess that's what you gotta do. But then that's that's not that's not interesting or fun at all. I don't know. Well, we got fourth here in the playoff race, so we should run about the same here. Maybe a little bit better. But we're doing good. We're right, we're right there up with them. The inside of Friesen. And oh my god. Maybe we can get third. And then I could just kind of chill for a little bit. Yeah, we are. Because we I mean, just got a hell of a run on Solder. And not a run, but just a draft. And just kind of pulled us there. Now I guess you got to get by Ben Rhodes. Also, I've been noticing every, like, every third lap is when I stop talking and go into sweat mode. That's what it seems like it takes for the field to kind of spread out. It's about three laps from what I've been noticing. It's just an interesting thing to notice in the editing room. But all right, well I guess we're just gonna have a cute little battle for third, or unless maybe somebody can eventually figure it out. Oh my god, it had straightaway speed. I actually got the draft. Wow, that's uh, interesting. And uh, uh, am I gonna go back to fifth? No, I'm not. Can someone make up their mind? I'm gonna make it up for you, Rhodes. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Ben Rhodes is fast. Yeah, he just straight up got by me. So, really, uh, we're going to be running. It's almost going to be like identical to have a first race here, or at least the last Vegas race here last year, at least. So, there's that. And then again, I'm about to pass Ben Rhodes back. I really thought that would have been the end of it, but no, we're uh, in fact going to race him hard for the spot. Wasn't expecting that, to be honest, unless Austin Hill gives me a bump draft. No, he doesn't. Okay. And Finger got by me. Now he's trying to get around Ben Rhodes. We're just kind of stalling out. In fact, we're losing a lot of time. So that sucks. But we should be pitting next time by, I think, so... I don't know. We really just don't have the truck to win. It does seem like we have a top five vehicle, but definitely not a winning one, so... Yeah, it sucks. I don't really know what more to do. That momentum really does help us, though, which... We're not going to get the whole season because of the, the Xfinity shit, so... I don't, even, I don't even know why I'm recording this. It's because it's just it's almost going to be the same as it was last year. D damn near, so... Uh, who, uh, well, we'll go down Pit Road. We'll barrel it in. My God, we just leapfrogged them all. 45, perfect, rights. that, and... That, that's it. I'll see where we cycle out. Well, out in the way, point one. Obviously, you saw the, the Vegas technical glitch like before. And we're first at the moment, but we're definitely going to get beat out of pit road by those two trucks in front of me. I like to think even lap traffic would play a factor, but I don't think it really will. So, well, we're going to fall back to third. But we did gain a lot of time, so I think the picker really did do their job today. Oh, Jennifer Joe just like, what was that? Oh, that could have been ugly. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't really affect the two, but... Oh my god, that was a brain-dead move from her. Ooh! Ooh, this is... This might be good. Wow, this is a... It's been a while since we had, like, an actual yellow. Well, since the Xfinity Hot Seat race, but... Can't remember the last one in trucks. And I guess it was for... <laughs> of course, it's Angela Ruck. That's, that's cute. So, we're going to uh, obviously stay out. We do have a good, a good restart gear, so we can maybe BS a win. I don't know. This is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Well, 
Let's see what we can do. Pretty good start. <laughs> a damn good start. All right, well, we'll just take the lead then. Alrighty. <laughs> wow. White flag's out, and I'm confused. I mean, I just barreled out of that start. We have like a half a second lead. Even if they gain on us, I mean, that's it's just not going to be enough time, I don't think. <laughs> oh my god, don't tell me we're just going to absolutely just cheese a win. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, that definitely helps after Daytona being a complete, just depressing race. Through three and four, they are, oh god, he's Johnny Sars hauling ass. Alright, well, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I, I got nothing again, like, what? Wow, we just absolutely just stole a win. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. All right, well, it's been a little bit since I did these kind of burnouts, so we'll see if I uh, still got it in me. And, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's pretty good. Oh, I like that. That was hot. I like that. So, finishing results. Pretty, uh, Joe Nemechek, eighth. Holy crap. Good run for him. Uh, and there's the rest of the results. Jennifer Joe, Mike Harmon, Raffle. Raffle. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get a max points day, and I think that gets us... I think that gets us to uh, getting the, uh, the other short track chassis, so... Hooray. And we're second in points. Nice. Hey, they fixed the trophy. It says NASCAR Heat 5. I, I just can't believe that that was not in the... Like... <laughs> oh, my God. I, this, this is funny. I don't know. We'll just move on. Smooth saving, so that's nice. What kind of tweets are we going to get, though? Wins at last... Um... I mean, they're right. This isn't anything new. It's like my sixth... I don't know, that's a weird, weird article. Wow. That's the most lamest message Dirt Freezing could have really mustered up to say. M make better tweets. Hey, we got 23rd. That's not too bad. The only good thing with accidentally running Xfinity is... We'll get a lot more money, so there's that. Another Xfinity. Okay, well we'll sim that too. Twenty-eight, thirty-six thousand. All right. Well, no, no incentive. I, I don't care too much. Do we got a truck race or we got another break? No, it's another Xfinity race. I just spat <laughs> all over the place. Oh my God! When are we gonna have a truck race? Good Lord. This should have been the week, right? Because trucks and Xfinity. I I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, hallelujah, we have a truck race finally. That's at Homestead, interesting. I thought it was uh, Atlanta. Wasn't that or... Uh, did we just skip Atlanta? We did, what the... What? What? <laughs> huh? Why did we skip Atlanta? Why is there 31... I just, I... No, I... It just didn't even give me Atlanta to run. It just made me miss it. What is that game? I <laughs> this is why you don't release shit two months earlier to develop it because we get problems like this. <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare. It's an absolute fucking nightmare. Well, we just missed Atlanta. I, there's nothing I could have done to not race that. It just I, the game just forgot us, forgot to get us to run there. Well, with all the money we have, we'll get a new chassis. So we'll add another short track to that. And then that's it. Well, we might get one for maybe a Canadian tire, but that'll be it. Obviously, no matter what happens in truck, we'll definitely just get the... Uh, we'll do two seasons off camera and then bank a lot of money that way. So it doesn't really matter too much if we're just kind of burning money now. Because we'll be doing stuff off camera anyways. I already, I thought I already signed everybody else. Okay, well, never mind. Let me get that guy back on the other one. And, uh, okay, well... On the homestead, we'll see if we can win there. With a hundred, well, not a hundred everything, but a hundred ninety-eight and then a hundred. So almost maxed out. You know, for a copy and paste game, I expect it at least to be like competent. Like, like if the bar is set that low now, where we can't even just get things to function in a copy and paste, then w <laughs> how am I supposed to trust that they can make Heat Six good? Like, I just. It's going to be one of those things where I just have to see it to believe it with that game. Because, like, at this point now, I'm just like, I, I just, I, how can I put trust in them? 
They can't even, like, do copy and paste right. Like, what? <laughs> I, th what, what how are they going to do actual, like, coding and super-duper technical things? Like, I just don't know. Off turn four. It's, uh, it should be a decent time, but for whatever reason, that uh, we're always, like, a, like, damn near a second off the goal time. I'll take 11th. We'll probably be good in race trim. So, I guess we'll find out. And Matt Crafton on pole. All right, well... Uh, okay, we're on the outside. Well, that's kind of a... I don't know if that's a problem, though. Not sure. Who got sent to the back? Johnny Sauter doesn't look like himself. Jordan Anderson, I guess, went to the back. Okay, well, that sucks. So, uh, obviously, like usual, one pit stop, right side. The, the usual kind of hoopla. But now we'll kind of see what this truck is capable of with almost everything. This is definitely the best one we've ever had up to this point, just because, you know, we've had 100... 95 and like 100 or something now we have like 198 and 100 so you know it's pretty damn good obviously it must be pretty good as we're going up through the field like absolute crazy went from a, what 10th to 5th and just two corners we'll just go okay we'll just go straight to lead then sorry Sheldon Creed I really <laughs> I'll take it I'm not complaining I I some sometimes I need those one of those races to just absolutely destroy the field and just kind of chill this might be one of them races Well, we lost the lead. Um, Zane Smith just... I, I was kind of just on the outside. I really wasn't expecting him to just, just drive right by me, but... He did. And now we got Sheldon Creed on my ass, and he's just hitting me and is kind of messing my corner up. Holy good God, Stuart Friesen, high. Alright, okay, I guess we're slow. I don't know. I really don't appreciate just getting my ass slammed in the center of the fucking corner. Like... <laughs> I don't know, it's just, I have it enabled, and I don't know why I did that, but it's not really doing anything. Also, we're just slow. Like, I just, I can't roll through the center of the corner like they can. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm pinning this lap, nothing really has happened. It seems like on this last lap, we've been starting to close in a little bit on the leader, so there's something. Otherwise, it's just been pretty boring since I've been in fourth for most of it. Rights, repair, damage, that, and up the grill tape, and then that's it. And then we'll see if we gain time on the pit stop. 8.1 seconds stop, and it does seem like we are definitely much quicker. So that's nice. That should be for literal P1. If the gap is at least like two seconds to uh, between me and the other person, then we should have a big enough uh, buffer to kind of hang on and win this. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that. The gap's not quite big enough, so it's uh, we're gonna it's gonna come down the wire, I think, because they're gonna run me down for sure. There we go. We're gonna cycle out into the lead. Now we got five laps to just hold those trucks off behind me, which I guess we'll see if they, they run me down. But how much though in this short amount of time is uh, up in the air. White flags out. We have uh, surprisingly have not lost too much time to Zane Smith. It's almost been a about the same, which I was kind of shocked on. And in fact, we're pulling away. It does seem like on Warner tires, well, we're a little bit better. Which, you know, he did take rights, I'm assuming, along with myself, so that's probably why it's hurting him so much. But we're doing okay. And we'll go through three and four. We kind of just BS another win. <laughs> this is, I guess I can consider this two in a row because the game just literally didn't give us Atlanta. So, uh, yeah, d two in a row! <laughs> All right, if that's what I gotta do, it still feels weird because like a pit crew shouldn't be like a hundred percent perfect. Something about that just feels weird. I don't want to do a burnout. One per episode, I think, is good enough. Poor Stuart Friesen was leading most of that race, and he just got boned by something. He ended up getting fourth. So I don't know what on earth happened to him. And there's the rest of the order: Spencer Boy and also Wayne Self, assumingly had issues. But we'll get a max earnings day and a good little... Ooh, merch mail's a thousand dollars. Holy good God. Wasn't it like at like 600 or something? I don't know, but it's going up, which is always nice to see. Because we didn't run in Atlanta, uh, we fell back to somewhere outside the top 10 in points. But now we're eighth and we have two wins. So we're pretty much a lock for the playoffs, which is always good. So there's that.
Certainly a weird homestead race because that was running like fourth. Really didn't have a shot to win, but I guess the picker just literally saved our day. So I guess that's going to be the, the, the theme of the season is just the picker saving our day. So I guess there's that. And we got Xfinity contracts. Be interesting to see if we get a five star ride just because we do like win the championship in trucks or something. I don't know, but I don't know. All right, we'll just send this. Thirty eight thousand I saw there for a split second, but yeah, we're not really gonna finish well in that by simming it. But hey, at least we got a truck raiser immediately after, so we got Texas. So uh, what's the next one? Five hundred sixty thousand. We'll definitely get there by the end of the season. Definitely before Canadian Tire for sure. So. I don't know, I guess we'll see how Texas will go, but we'll save that for the next episode. Everything's all set to go for Texas. And stats that um so uh okay I keep thinking it's last season stats, but it's this year. Oh man. Alright, well we'll just wrap this part up. Big shout out to my two three Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and David our Champ 15, NASCAR number site.org, Bailey Carrier, Drew, Jones and Card, Robert Dillon, Golf Cable Hire, Crazy Outlaw, and Danny Hillman Ultimate Fan for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for a contribution and support this channel. Every single month like this does mean a lot, and I'm always just incredibly grateful and just very thankful for what you guys do and contribute. It just means a lot, and I just really appreciate it. I'll see you all next part for Texas, and then we got Richmond, which I know we'll suck at, and then Dover, which we'll probably do good at. We have not really had a race where we just straight up just destroyed the field, so hopefully that's coming very soon and we don't have to have, like, pick group save us. Also, I do have it on the hardest settings because people are going to think I'm cheating or something, so there you go. That's what, yeah, no, that's, just, that's just how the settings are. So that'll be it for me in this part. I'll see you all in another episode. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.